These are our brand new 75 gallon aquariums. I've got six of them. They are not tempered on the sides. Uh, I remember I had a mishap with my old 75 trying to drill it and found out it was tempered. So I got made sure the, the uh, manufacturer that they're not tempered. These are from Aquarium Masters. They're 75 regulars. And uh, really excited to get these into the fish room. Welcome back to the Biotopes, everybody. So this is really happening. We've got our six 75 gallon tanks uh, from Master Aquarium. And um, I've got them drilled currently. You can see them right behind me here and taped off and ready for paint. So we'll take you through that process uh, from start to finish and we'll get these loaded up into the fish room. So the fish room build continues, follow along and let's get these tanks ready to go. Thanks for tuning in. All right, I just wanted to show everybody up close how these were all drilled. You see the, kind of the back left corner these are for one inch bulkheads for our overflow. And five of, them, five of them I did this back corner and then the sixth one I did kind of in the middle which will line up with our drainage access on one of the, uh, the final stack of 75, so this one here. So next we'll get them prepped and painted and in the fish room. So here are the tanks. Um, sorry for some of the glare and these are just in our barn. Um, my wife's got a big uh, baby clothes sale coming up so she's getting ready for that. So pardon the mess. But anyway, you see uh, here's the tanks. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, they are all drilled. And I've just got some painter's tape on the inside of the hole because the next step here is we're gonna paint the backs of these. Um, this is just some of the residue from the, um, the glass. So I'll just, I'll wipe those down you know, and clean them of course before we paint, but really nice tanks from Master Aquarium. Um, and these are obviously not tempered on the back. They are tempered on the bottom of the tank. And our paint of choice, um, just like for our racks and our other, um, projects here is just a semi-gloss exterior. Um, it's just a normal uh, black. So a uh, really nice paint primer and paint together exterior. So it's good with the moisture of the fish room. So next we'll get those these tanks cleaned off and painted up. So stay tuned. All right, so welcome back. Here we've got our first rack in place. So again, this is a double 75 gallon rack that we built a few videos ago. Make sure you check back and, and look at that if you wanna know how I built this. Um, just let's see where we're at. So this is when you first come in the fish room. Well, I'm sorry for the mess. We're moving things around here to get this in, but we'll have our second stack of 75s there and then our third stack of 75s there. Here's our stack of 620s. Everything is going great in there. We'll get you an update on there sometime soon. Um, but the lights are out because um, it's later in the evening. So those guys are done. So here's what we've got. We've got our 75 gallon. See they're painted. We've got overflows drilled there. And um, what I'm going to do, and I'd love to get you guys input in. My initial thought here was that we were going to do a linear piston air pump and one pump for the room and just run air to uh, all the tanks. Then I got to thinking, these are display tanks. I'm gonna have large sponge filters in there. And yes, I can take the sponge filters out when it's time to, you know, when it's time to video or take photos. Um, but I've got these 10 gallon tanks in my barn, just kind of not doing anything. So I thought, how about if I put a 10 gallon underneath and run a little sump? Now, most of these tanks will be planted, which will help with filtration. And I know what you're saying, 10 gallons isn't enough to filter 275s, but you know, think about it, when I had that 
uh, 75 in my living room. I had a Fluva 407 and two small sponge filters on it and it was heavily stocked and planted and it was just fine. It, it uh, ran at like 20 nitrates pretty much always. So, you know, a 407, I don't think there's five gallons of water in that and I know this will not be filled to the top, but um, I think we can make it work. We'll have an easy water change system. The other nice thing about a sump is that my initial thought was I was gonna run water, which my water is here. I've got cold and then hot as underneath. Okay, there's my hot, there's my cold. I was gonna run water to all the tanks. So I have a, a tap here to fill, a tap here to fill, two there, two there, and then for all these which these all still, all still have individual taps. But now with the sump, I can have one water inputting to the system into the sump. One there and one there. That way it's a little bit less PVC and less water access. So I'll just be able to add water to this. Uh, underneath there, I'll, I'll have PVC coming out with a carbon block and a flow reducer and all that stuff. It'll add here. Uh, inputs on this side here so I've got it these are this one's drilled so I got a three quarter inch bulkhead there with elbows barbed um, so that will be one input from say the top tank the other the bottom tank will you know just have a hose that'll just come into this sump I'll have some sponge some media uh, bio rings or bio balls whatever and then two separate pumps one that will pump it back up to the top tank and one that will pump it to this bottom tank. Um, and that will, it'll, you know, the water again will overflow out of these one inch drilled holes, these are for one inch bulkheads, into that sump. The trick is, is I'm gonna install this two way valve on the top tank. It'll go kind of like this in between. And that top access will be from the overflow from the top tank. And then one of these will go to the sump and the other one will go to the drainage out of the room. So when it's time to change the water, I'll close the one to the sump, open the one to the drainage. And as I'm adding water to the sump or to the system, really of the 275 gallons plus the 10 gallon sump, that water will overflow over time out of the drain. So that's how I'm gonna change water on the system. So each 75 rack is a system. It'll be in there separate water, separate water, separate water. And again, we'll add water to that sump and we'll overflow both tanks into these drainage access points that I've got on this PVC that runs out of the fish room, um, out into the drain outside. And you wanna see how we did put, install that, look back in our fish room build videos. So that's gonna be the system and you're gonna be along for the ride as I build this. It'll probably take a, a few videos, um, but really excited about getting this done. I'd love some input on freshwater sumps or any of that stuff. Um, you know, water change systems, anything would be great to get some feedback and some dialogue. So thanks again for tuning in and let's have some fun. Welcome back. Let's get an update on where, where I'm at right now. So what I've done in this top tank, which I'm going to plumb first of the, of the stack is I've installed the bulkhead. Um, this is just a slip and slip bulkhead. It's uh, a one inch bulkhead. And what I've done on the inside of the tank, like the other ones, is I've got just a slip by barb, again, one inch uh, elbow, and then a coarse little pre filter. That's just so that, um, you know fish or large organics don't um, go down in the sump or into the drain. On the back end, what I'm gonna do on the other side of this, 
which is kind of my next step, is I'm gonna do a, another barb um, slip, and then I've cut, uh, this is a interior diameter, one inch, um, kind of vinyl tubing, it's somewhat flexible. And what I'll do is, you guys can see on the back end, I'll take this elbow and uh, I'll glue this part in, push that all the way, and then I'm gonna heat up the tubing and I'll slip it over that, that bar. Um, be sure when you do this that uh, you actually don't glue that in first. So first thing I'll do is I'll heat up this tubing and get that barb, uh, the tube in on that barb, and then glue that on the back end, and that will lead down to my two-way valve. So we'll get that done, and we'll get you updated soon. Let's take a quick break here just to update you on how we build the stands. This is the third and final stand. You see I've got three shelves, and... Here is the base with the four uprights. And then we'll build the two shelves at the appropriate heights and get them attached. Back into the fish room. Okay, welcome back. Let's get us a quick update on the fish room. So we'll start here from the left. You know, we've got our bench, two 75s here. Um, what I'm gonna do is do um, a 10 gallon sump under two of the stacks, and then I'm going to do a essentially a 20 gallon sump on the third stack. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to do a wet dry trickle like this or just a pull through system, but um, we're going to mess around with that and test it out a little bit. So these are both plumb for drainage. So you see I've got, um, sorry for the glare, but I've got our uh, overflow sponge there overflow there and there's our y valve one goes to the drain one goes to the sump from the top tank and this drain here comes straight from the bottom tank and on the left where it's drilled that comes from the top um, this is just a piece of acrylic that i've i had kind of uh, melted and molded to hold that hose into that um, wet dry stack there which is some old uh, plastic drawers. I got some bio rings um, in the bottom two and some sponge on the top and then more sponge. I'll have a heater there and then I'll get my two return pumps there. Um, we still have to do our water that's cold. The hot's on the other side. We still have to do our fill system. Here's our second stack. Um, these are obviously you guys know it's both drilled. I don't have bulkheads or anything for these yet. Um, as you can see, um, but they're both drilled and ready to go. I'll have another 10 gallon under here set up for a sump. You can see there, there's the access to the drainage that goes along the room. And then I am currently working on our last rack here. Um, I just got to paint that and get that in here. Here is a wet dry sump that my buddy Josh uh, gave me just an acrylic. It's a gosh, what is it? A biofill two. So it's a holds about 20 gallon, 15 gallons. Um, so we've got the bio balls here, and here's our trickle drip plate and some of the piping. So we'll get that all set up. It's actually too big to get under the stands as it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm building that stand. I'm going to place the stand on top and it should fit there. So we'll keep you guys updated on that later. So that's where we're at there. Um, obviously we've got our stack of twenties. These are our angels and black skirts and bristle nose and Corys that will go into our South American, our Peru biotope here. Eventually I've got our, uh, uh, knife live bear here, the Alfaro Colteris in this tank. And actually, I just put my daughter wanted a one of those electric blue crayfish and has decimated the valve. 
So it's super cloudy. I know all the lights are off right now, but super cloudy, just really messing with the valve in there, eating it. Um, doesn't mess with the Amazon sword that much. Sorry, my heater just turned on. These are the baby uh, Sudamigil signifers, the Pacific blue eye in there. I've also got six babies from our knife live bears that are in there uh, grown up. Down here are two rainbow cichlids, uh, both females. So those will end up going with the uh, knife live bears in the, uh, this is gonna be a Costa Rican biotope in this bottom tank. And I've got one more fish that we'll, we'll add to that group that uh, stick around, subscribe, and uh, you'll find what that is. And then here are my adult Sumigil signifers, or again, Pacific blue eyes that are the parents of these guys up here. So, so the lights are out right now, but it's just uh, after it's lights out. So, but that's what's going on in there. And again, those are all, these tanks are all set up for our uh, drainage system. Eventually I'll run water from here to each sump for the system and then to each individual tank here and I'll have fill systems there. So that's the update. Okay, Biotopers, so that is our update uh, for the fish room, slowly coming along. I'm really excited about our filtration systems for the display tanks. Um, so if you wanna stick around and see how we get those all plumbed and set up, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell, and uh, share this video. If you have any friends that are into biotopes, um, eventually we're gonna all these set up and those are gonna be some fun videos showing you guys how to research, build, set up uh, specific biotopes tanks. We'll have six display biotopes in here. Um, so they're all gonna be from different areas of the world. So it's gonna be a lot of fun and I hope you guys all come along for the ride. Thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you guys in the next one.